Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 838. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 836 to 847, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we need to calculate commission and we need to do a two way lookup. So we have a department and a sales number that will determine which one of these percentages to use in this cell times that. Right? So the, two, the essence of a two-way lookup is I need to find operations. So I come down here. That tells me the row. And then I, I need to look up the sales number. And I come through here, and I realize that number is bigger. So then I jump back here. So I really want the intersection of these two, which is 2.9%. Uh, so the ultimate formula would give me this result. So two-way lookup to get the percentage, and then multiplying times the sales number. All right, I'm going to show you two methods here. Uh, how about VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP is a great function because most everyone that does lookup knows how to use VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP only looks up one thing, right? So we're going to use it to look up the department, comma, table array. I'm going to highlight very carefully the first column with the uh, the, for VLOOKUP, the, col the first column in the lookup table has the values we're looking up. So operation, it'll get a match there. I'm going to hit F4, comma, oh, but column number, you usually just you know type in 4 or something, right? Which is what we want, 1, 2, 3, 4. But that won't work, because we need that to be dynamic. So that's the two-way lookup. We need to also look up the column number. I'm going to use match. Match is perfect. If I say, hey, match function, look up this, comma, within all of this, it will race through here, find this as col position number four, and that will be perfect for what the VLOOKUP needs. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. Now the comma, the last argument is uh, what type, and we're going to use this less than and metaphor, and it's the default. So we do not need to put it in. And what does that less than mean? It's looking for the first value that is less than or equal to this lookup value. Now, as a metaphor, it, it, it does a binary search. But as a metaphor, what it does is it races through. And the first value it bumps into that's bigger, it jumps back. And so that's a one way to understand how that approximate match works. All right, so I'm going to close parentheses on that. Notice the match function right here is sitting in the column index for VLOOKUP. So that's perfect. It's going to give it a 4. If I highlight this and hit the F9 key, perfect. And it will be dynamic as we copy down. Control Z. Finally, we do need Finally, we do need to deal with the fact that we need to tell the VLOOKUP to do an exact match. Now, technically, these are words sorted, so we could just use approximate match, which is the default. We could leave it off. But just in case these are not sorted, I'm going to um, put the false by typing a 0. All right, so that'll work. That'll give me the actual percentage rate. Now, that is number formatting. It's sucking it from here. So I'm going to apply general number format. And now you can see it's getting the right thing, so we simply multiply it. I apply. I didn't need to really apply that general number format, but I wanted to show you that it was getting the right number. Because now immediately we're going to multiply, and it will re-suck that formatting, and double click and send it down. Now that's one great way, and I love this way, because it uses VLOOKUP and MATCH. There is another option that we can use, and it's actually the more traditional way to do two-way lookup. You use the index function. Now, we can compare and contrast the VLOOKUP match and index with two matches here. Um, the first thing is we're going to give it the array, and then the index, you just say, hey, what row number and column number. So it explicitly says, what's the row, what's the column. But this array is different than the VLOOKUP. You only highlight the guts of the table in here, not the column that gives us the row number and the row that gives us the column number. All right? And I'm going to hit F4, comma. And then you simply use match twice, once for the row, once for the column. Now the row, we're going to have to type this match. Remember, match is great. It can look up a value, comma, within a uh, range one-way range and tell you the position. So of course, that's going to look up operation and go one, two, three. 
comma, we don't need this. Um, oh, actually, we do need this. I'm going to use exact, because although these are sorted and the approximate, this first one will work, uh, and just in case they're not in uh, sorted order, I'm going to put a 0. That says, hey, please do an exact match. Find exactly OPER. That's the row number, comma, the column number, control V. I pasted that match we did from earlier. Now, if you entered it like this, you'd be in big trouble because look, another difference between the VLOOKUP match and the um, index is now it's looking from A to E. That's incorrect. Watch this. I'm going to point to the edge right there. And when I see that diagonally pointing cursor, I'm going to click and drag in to correct it. So now match is looking at B to E. The reason why is the actual blue index array only has the inside part of the table. So we need either 1, 2, 3, or 4. Remember, for the VLOOKUP, this was 4. But for this index match match, it's 3. The column number is 3. The row number is 3. 3, so it's going to get that intersecting value. Now, that second matches the column number, so I close parentheses. Okay, That gives me that value, and I now I multiply it. So I did a two-way lookup to deliver the percentage, and then I simply multiply it to get my commissions. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.